Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jones. Um, I'm Rod from the Philippines, and unfortunately, Doc Mike cannot come right now because of the visa, and I'm here to represent SHIP. So I hope everybody is still okay. So um, SHIP, or Sustained Health Initiatives of the Philippines, is a clinic located in Metro Manila, handling to about 1,000 uh, people living with HIV. And uh, other than that, there's also the nonprofit organization side, which advocates for a uh, stronger continuum of HIV care through partnership, innovation, and training. So we have been uh, doing a lot of amazing works with, with Gilead and Sorry for the slide. So uh, as we have read from many literatures, the Philippines has one of the fastest HIV epidemic, I mean, pande um, yeah, epidemic um, compared to other parts of the world with 237% per increase over the last decade. And the, the problems on testing and, and linkage to care has been one of the greatest uh, barrier that we have been um, trying to resolve over a period of time now. And 84% of the uh, cases of HIV are among the men who have sex with men. And stigma remains a challenge in, in the country in which having HIV is often regarded to be uh, sinful or immoral. And we have done, um, during the pandemic, it has made the, the work on HIV care a lot harder. Hence, we did a partnership with, with Gilead to do um, Asia-Pacific Pulse Survey to determine the, the impact of COVID-19 on access on um, HIV care in Asia and Pacific. And it showed that more than 90% of people living with HIV and those vulnerable uh, to HIV in the Philippines reduced uh, or delayed their visits to HIV clinic um, during the COVID-19. And because of this, uh, the sustainable health initiatives of the Philippines responded to it by training um, healthcare professionals to um, navigate and still continue HIV testing and treatment regardless of the pandemic. So there was a series of lectures on COVID-19 pandemic and its relationship to HIV was offered to many healthcare professionals uh, via the HTTP, which is one of the projects of, of uh, SHIP with, with Gilead. Um, it is done in Zoom and Facebook Messenger. And uh, aside from that, we also train healthcare providers on how to do differentiated ART delivery and also um, manage to partner with the local communities and social hygiene clinics. And one of those uh, partners is actually Dr. Mike Angelo from uh, Bacoor Social Hygiene Clinic, who is unfortunately not here today, but then done a lot of great work together with the uh, peer navigators and community-based um, screening motivators. So the CPS motivators in Bacoor Social Hygiene Clinic has uh, are also part of the LGBTQIA community, which is a very good way to uh, provide safe space and and sending a message that you are okay if you're gonna get tested by the peer navigator. And that is uh, one of the greatest impact that uh, SHIP together with all the networks that we had has been doing during the pandemic. And aside from that, we also have a lot of, of projects that has been uh, innov innovative over the last few years, such as cable, Cable is an HIV community-based organization and civil service capacity building program that teaches project management, um, financial planning, and how to apply for grants. In fact, uh, we had like um, about a a 50, 50 plus of CBOs all over the Philippines who participated in a training and then they pitched in their, their, their projects and programs at the last part of the, the cable training and then a ship was able to become the middle person to provide grants for this small organization, which is a great, great um, outcome if I were to say. So Connect for Life is another uh, project. It's a mobile phone uh, messaging system that connects patients with healthcare providers and provides health tips and reminders about the appointments, medications, symptoms, and reporting. And because of the Connect for Life project, it increased the adherence rate of our clients in SHIP clinic to about 98% adherence rate. And that's an overall average. Now, HTTP, on the other hand, is HIV telehealth training program, which holds HIV primary care telehealth training workshops to improve the knowledge and the skills of HIV care providers. Um, all over the world, I mean, all over the Philippines. So as mentioned on the previous slide, the platform has been used to educate healthcare workers about the impact of COVID-19 on people living with HIV and has been adapted to offer telehealth to patients during lockdowns. 
So in fact, now um, HTTP has been converted to become a telehealth consultation type of approach, which has been a very, very valuable tool during the pandemic so that the, the, the clients don't need to travel far. And then it has been linked to um, differentiated ART delivery, wherein the, the client will be given the option to um, subscribe to a motorbike delivery of ARV. So uh, the last one that I will be mentioning is QISD, which stands for um, Quality Improvement on Stigma and Discrimination. Uh, so it is uh, a, a part of the Southeast Asia HIV Stigma Reduction Quality Improvement Learning Network, which is a multi-partner initiative to reduce stigma and discrimination in healthcare settings. Now it has been an ongoing project, and I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, the point is that SHIP, over uh, the, the period of, of, of four or five years, we have done a, an amazing job on attainable partner in our, in our maintenance of the continuum of care. And aside from that, um, SHIP has also been uh, actively participating in during the uh, development of the implementation of rules and regulation of the new HIV law back in 2017 and 18. And that has been to have uh, close partners with the social hygiene clinic, the primary care physicians, which is also a very valuable partner in our in our maintenance of the continuum of care. And aside from that, um, SHIP has also been uh, actively participating in during the uh, development of the implementation of rules and regulation of the new HIV law back in 2017 and 18. And that has been our uh, work so far in the Philippines. So hopefully it, it would share a lot of, of, of wonderful lessons to the, the listeners today.